welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Chanel and this is my channel about all my Yarny adventures. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Mama of Yarn. Today is June 7th. I'm recording a week later than I would normally. Uh, this video is going to be my May wrap up and works in progress, finished objects, one acquisition, future cast on, and just all the yarny goodness. I hope that you are all well. I hope that you've got a project, a beverage, and let's get started. Uh, let's start with my first work, uh, finished object. It's my Desert Vista Dye Works socks. Here they are. Oh, look at those. Aren't they so beautiful? Absolutely love this colorway. So this colorway is um, Sleeping Zombody. It's a Disney inspired yarn, Sleeping Beauty. Oh, look. And the zombie part are these like little mottled speckles throughout. Oh, look at those. So first of all, before we talk about Desert Vista Dye Works. This is all I have left. I have about, I'd say about 30 grams, I think there is here. So these took 69 grams of yarn to make. So let's put one down. Um, they were knit on 2.25 millimeter, uh, a US one. Uh, nine inch circulars, chow goo, 64 stitches, 20 rows for the cuff on a two by two rib, uh, think 60 for the leg, slip stitch heel, I think I did about 55 after, so I don't count from my gusset decreases, I start counting after the dust gusset, gusset decreases to before the toe and I believe there was 50, about 55 rounds and then a rounded toe. Oh my goodness, look at them. They are so beautiful. So they are my May Desert Vista Dye Works socks for the knit along and they are absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love these beautiful pastel -y, um pinks, purples. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And like I said, this is a little bit, I always skein up my leftovers after finishing just so I can store them and that the yarn isn't pulled tight in that cake. It's got time to now relax my second finished object, oh, which I absolutely love, these are stunning, was my test knit for Jen Yard, which is everything, right, let me get this right, for Instagram, is every dot thing dot shapes dot us, Jen Yard. And it's the Grannies in a Row sock. This pattern has been released. It was released, I believe, on Friday. And here are my finished socks for the test knit. Look at those. Oh my goodness. They are amazing. So, to talk through, oh, I've got a little end that I haven't cut out. Oh, let's tuck him in there. You've got individual little granny squares that go all the way around, which you join. Then you pick up stitches on the top, knit for a few rows, and then do your cuff. I've done a knit, uh, knit two pearl two. Then you have to do a stretchy bind off. So you're knitting up this way. Then you turn your sock, pick up along the bottom 
of your granny squares and knit your sock as you would a normal sock. I knit or tested, should I say, the small size, which is, I believe, 60. Let me just double check. Um, where does it say? Where does it say? Excuse me. Must be on this bit of paper. I believe it's a 60. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Should have been a bit more organized, shouldn't I? Here we are. Yes, it's a 60, 60 round, uh, sti 60 stitch count. The granny squares, I chose to go up a hook, well, not a hook size. I went up to a 2.5 millimeter hook. Uh, they're knit on a 2.25 US one. Um, I used, it would help if I, Hold you, wouldn't it? West Yorkshire spinners four ply in the Rum Paradise colorway, and that is how it knits up. So each of these, I I used the colors and just blocked them, cut them, so color blocked each of the individual bits and pieces to make the squares and then just use the yarn as normal. Um, I can't remember what the colorway was for the heels and toes. I can't remember, some kind of pansy color, but oh, absolutely beautiful. So I chose to use a nine inch circular to knit mine, worked perfectly, obviously, by the time I got to the toe, I did a magic loop. Um, but you can magic loop DPN. It's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful pattern. So much fun to test knit. Um, I believe, Jen, here it is. They, you can do scrappy. It's all written in the pattern. Obviously I will have all the patterns, yarns, dyers, um, just everything, oh, project pages, everything down below. If you hit more, it'll drop down with the description links. You can just click on them and they will send you to the right place. Um, the pattern is thoroughly written. You have options. I'll just do you quick because I've got all my scribbles on there. Uh, for a heel flap and gusset option, a shadow wrap heel option, and an afterthought heel option. Three options there for you to choose from, all within the pattern. Uh, what else have we got? Options for additional sock variations. If you wanting to add extra granny um, edging, there's also an option for scrappy version, stripe, self-striping yarn. It's thoroughly, thoroughly written. There's everything in here. You would not get confused at all. So descriptive. So if, like me, you crochet and knit, these are, and obsessed by socks, <laughs> This is an absolutely amazing pattern. Definitely go check out Jen's page. I will link it all down below. I believe she's thinking about having a knit along for these as well. So keep an eye, check on Instagram. Oh, look at those. If there's any more information, help, assistance, etc., that you need, feel free to drop me a message below. I'm more than happy to help. Um, but, they're so straightforward. They may look intimidating, but they're not. They're just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed them. So much so that my first works in progress to show you is another pair. So here, oh, I've got it attached at the moment. Oh, look. 
So this time I'm knitting a pair. Is it classed as knitting? I don't, I'm not too sure. Knitting, crocheting, by stitch wall, by meaning two stitch types, crochet and knitting. Um, I'm knitting a pair for Kitey of the Yarn Whisperer to wear at his next yarn festival. I've chosen to do the large size. Um, with this, I've added an addition of a little granny edging top and bottom. Uh, these, because they're a men's and I'm not too sure of his size, I decided to use a 2.5 millimeter to knit the sock as well as the 2.5 um, hook purely because I didn't want them not to fit. And this time I'm using ooh, this lilac because I've run out of the dark purple and the lilac doesn't actually have a name. It's just got a color. It's 371, I believe. I suppose I could have Googled it, but unlike the Rum Paradise, oh, which states Rum Paradise on there, this is just, I assume, 371. No, what am I talking about? 731. 731 or 0754. There it is. But these are going to be so much. Look at them. Oh, I hope they fit. And I've got the second one going now because I wanted to make sure, although they look a bit scrap, um, scrappy, I wanted to make sure that they um, matched. So I've got to the toe, cut once I got to the toe, joined in at exactly the same spot so they will match perfectly. Um, so for these, I did 10 rows uh, after the granny before the, in between the cuff and the grannies. I believe I did 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 rows after the granny before the heel and normal slip stitch heel. I've done 72 stitches for these and at the moment, I think 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So at the moment, I've done 60 rows for the foot. Just need to measure it now to find out whether or not to start the toe or just add a few extra rounds. But it is stunning, beautiful. I can highly, highly recommend this pattern. Um, I knit the sock, as I said, on nine inch circs, but once I get to the toe, I do change for the magic loop. Oh, look, you can't help but just feel a little bit happy and smile when you see those colors. So that is my first works in progress. My second works in progress is a test knit and one second, I've forgot the sheet. Okay, for Melinda of Rye Flower Knits, let's see if I can find, here on, let's, and it's another shawl. You know, socks and shawls. It's all about socks and shawls. I'm obsessed by them. I really must learn to make something else. Right, I've folded all of this down. I also love working on a paper pattern because I'm very much old school and I love to scribble down, make notes. So here it is. It's a very long V shape as not normal. Um, it's, would help if I show you, it's stunning, absolutely stunning. So here it is at the moment. It is stockinette with these beautiful, 
eyelet rose. And then once you've finished the main body, I'm testing the medium size, which it's longer than my arm length now. You come across, uh, once you've knit the main body, you then have this beautiful, beautiful lace work with, I don't know whether you can see, um, see if I can put that behind. With some bead, there's three rows of beads in each at the end of each lace section. I'm doing two lace sections, so I'll have six rows of beads in total. Oh, there we are, if I stretch it out. Look at that. So they are size six, six slash zero seed beads. And it's the first time that I have ever added beads to a knitting project. All the projects that I've done in all the oh, 30 plus years, I was going to say 40, but that might be a stretch. 30, 30 plus years of knitting, I've never actually added beads. And oh my goodness, it's very time consuming, but beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So let's talk about the yarn. Look at this color. I bet you're all surprised that <laughs> I'm knitting in green. It's a beautiful, this yarn is absolutely stunning. It's by Pigment and Ply. And there is, it's 100% Superwash Merino Sock. That's the colorway there. Like it's a beautiful moss color green. Um, this is knit on, let me just double check, I believe it's a five, yes. So the main body of the shawl is knit on a US 5 3.5, sorry, 3.75 millimeter. And then the lace work is a US 7 4.5 all I have left to do are six rows and then the bind off and then this is done. It's absolutely beautiful. This yarn is so soft, so soft. The drape is amazing. Look at that. Oh, look at this. It is beautiful. The only thing is, I don't know whether I've done something wrong. Can you see how that's just rolling? Whether or not a good block will get that sorted or whether I cast on too loosely, I don't know. Not too sure. Maybe, maybe a good block sort it out, but oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. I can highly recommend this pattern once it comes out. It's as I said before, a test knit, it's a two skein project. Um, this is what I have left so far of the second skein and I've only got six rows, so maybe I haven't weighed it. Maybe it might be just a one and a half skein project. I'm not too sure. I'll keep you all updated on that and here is it all scrunched up? Look at that color. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Beautiful. And that is my last works in progress. So, quick life things. As you can see, I've not really had much to show you. Unfortunately, last week, my Nana got rushed, well, the week before, Two weeks ago, my Nana got rushed into hospital. You know that if you've been here a long time, since I can't remember when I started doing it, I've been crocheting blankets for my Nana's retirement home. I talk about my Nana a lot. Um, unfortunately, she caught pneumonia, got rushed into hospital, and sadly, last week, passed. Life, life's poo at the moment. <laughs> it's... It's been hard, really, really hard. 
um, my nan is my world, absolute world. And to say I've been thrown a curveball is an absolute understatement. But I will be finishing the projects, my blankets for her retirement home and friends. Um, I know my nana will have wanted that and I just can't pick them up at the moment. I know I will pick them up once I've got past a few things, but I wanted to record, I wanted to try and keep some form of normality going, um, but it's hard. But I, I'm here, I've shown you some things that I have been doing, um, yeah, I hope you all understand that I needed that time away for a bit and I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna still be here. <laughs> I'm trying to get back into the rhythm of my crafts and things. Um, there might not be crocheted blankets for a few weeks, but they will be coming back because I know you do love to see them and my progress on them. But for the time being, they're gonna be put to one side. I hope you understand. Um, on a different note, I have got to um, hmm. it's hard isn't it this is life it's me I'm not gonna edit any of this out it anyway desert vista dye works for June here it is this one is Cinder somebody. This is um, Disney inspired Cinderella from Disney. These are going to be my June Desert Vista Dye Works cast on socks. Um, again, I'm just going to do plain. I'm going to do 64 stitches on a nine inch circular and hopefully next week or the week after, because I do try to record every two weeks, I will have some sock progress to show you. Beautiful, isn't it? So Desert Vista Dye Works, if you don't know, do um, Susan does a monthly uh, knit along, not a, not a knit along, it's a year long and you knit something out of a skein of her yarn every single month. And I'm amazed that I actually am up to June. Hopefully I can get these done. Uh, so that's that. Uh, acquisitions. I spoke about this last time. I had only just uh, received it that day, so I didn't want to show it. But my sock and key club from Kaiti, the Yarn Whisperer, is my only acquisition so far. It is the Harlequin Key by the Yarn Whisperer. Here's the little key progress keeper that you get. And this time we had a little surprise. Oh. And there was two minis inside. Now, not that I'm gonna be able to show you, but they are UV black light glowing. I believe, I want to say definitely the green. I'm not too sure about this one, but look at that. Oh my goodness. So some really, really lovely deep purples, some gray, some bare yarn. Oh, this is stunning. Absolutely. This reminds me of magpies. I don't know whether. Oh, is that? Oh, it's just a bit of fluff. I don't, don't know why. Just some, those like oily, slick colours. So um, it's a monthly, I think I've told you all before. It's a monthly yarn club. I've been buying it. I bought it all last year. We'll have it again this year. 
unfortunately at the end of the year kitey isn't continuing with it it was only ever going to be a two-year subscription um you don't have to do the full year you can just get the monthly uh you get 100 grams of corridale sock 20 uh 20 80-20 Corridal socks, so 80% Corridal, 20% nylon. And then normally you get one 20 gram mini in that Corridal 80-20. But this month, the little surprise, or sorry, should I say last month, of an additional mini. And that is all the yarn, all the projects all the things. Um, just quickly, May's stats. May's stats were not bad, not bad. So, grams out. Well, let's start with projects first of all. I got through five projects in May. Uh, one, two, three pairs of socks. My Rainbow Bright and Tink Test Knit Crochet Dolls and a blanket for my Nana's retirement home. So that was five projects. They weighed 1,320 grams, which equates to, excuse me, 3,200-ish yards, which is amazing. And grams in, I only got uh, my sock and key club and one of the West Yorkshire spinners um, for my test knit. So what came in was only 240 grams. So all in all, more out than in, which is good. That was the plan for this year. That may not be the case by the end of the year because I've bought two advents and also I have my eye on a third advent which is released at uh, the 1st of July, I think. But other than that, that's it this month. Uh, not this month, this episode. Um, I hope, I hope and pray that you are all well that you're enjoying your crafts that life isn't been as poopy for you as it has for me i want to thank you very very much for watching for sticking with me right to the end through the chaos i promise i will have more things to show this has really been a bit of a bitty one really hasn't it little bits and pieces that i've worked on but I have plans, I just need to get the headspace, the mind space, all the space. Send, send me thoughts and opinions on how to get out of a funk and to make yourself feel better because at the moment, I'm struggling. Anyway, this has helped. I like sitting here chatting with you. It gives me something else to focus on. So. I wish you all well. I thank you for watching. Um, take care. Happy crafting. Spend time with the people that give you joy because life's pants and there's not much of it. So until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye.